Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. In this video, we are going to see how you can do natural language generation, that is also known as text generation, for Hindi language using INLTK package. So INLTK stands for Indic NLTK. So it's for Indic languages, which means um, the supported languages are Hindi, Punjabi, Gujarati, Kannada, Malayalam, Oriya, Marathi, Bengali, Tamil, Urdu, Nepali, Sanskrit, and English. So uh, basically INLTK is built on top of, uh, as far as I understand, built on top of uh, FastAI's library or probably just PyTorch. I'm not exactly very sure about it, but the dependency is PyTorch definitely. So um, uh, in this video, we'll learn how to do natural language generation, which is uh, kind of trending these days with the GPT-3 stealing all the popularity. So we are going to take a Kaggle data set uh, and then we are going to see how to do um, you know get similar sentences or complete sentences based on the input sentence that you're going to give so first of all to have a look at the data set uh, that uh, we have taken so first uh, thank you so much uh, for uh, Gaurav Arora for making this uh, wonderful package that uh, we are going to use and making it open source so the second thing is thanks to Aishwarya Ramchandran for uh, making this data set available this is a data set that has got um, one column that says which is the source and then the second column says what is the English sentence and the third column says what is the Hindi sentence for it. So my Hindi is, going, my Hindi is very bad so if I read uh, something wrong in Hindi please uh, forgive me. Okay so first of all um, the simplest thing that you can do is uh, to create a notebook on top of a data set go to the notebook uh, sorry go to the data set and click notebook. So that way your data set is already linked with your notebook. So you don't have to do anything else. So this is exactly what I've done. So you can see after you do that thing, the data set is linked with your notebook. So you don't have to actually take the pain of linking that notebook or whatever you want to do. So you don't have to do that. Um, so once you uh, you're done with that thing, so uh, just execute and see if uh, the file is in your path. So it's there. So uh, next thing is uh, when I uh, tried a test run with this package, it actually threw a lot of warnings. So I don't want to spam your screen with warnings. So I'm just ignoring the warnings. Next important thing is we have to read the data set. Uh, after you read the data set, you can probably do a head and then try to see what is in there. So you've got a source, you've got English sentence and you've got a Hindi sentence. Um, my opco I say he ek bache ke baare mein batana chahu. Oh, nice. My Hindi is good. Okay, so that's a sentence, uh, example sentence. So the thing is, um, um, you need to have a torch, PyTorch version 1.3.1. So when I tried with the latest version of Py, uh, PyTorch, which is uh, 1.5 ish, so it uh, actually threw some error. Um, uh, so for that, uh, the developer probably has to, you know, uh, re-upload the model. But uh, to avoid all those problems, we are going to use the same thing as mentioned in the documentation, which is uh, PyTorch 1.3.1. So after you install that thing, make sure that you have installed the uh, library. So you can use this uh, bang operator. Um, uh, if you're familiar with uh, any notebook setup, you can actually run an environment uh, system command using this operator. So that's how you're able to use uh, pip install. So after you do that, install the INLTK, pip install INLTK, don't forget the bang. So now in your current session, so in this current session, uh, you have got uh, the latest, uh, sorry, you've got an older version of PyTorch, which is 1.3.1, which is CPU version. Uh, I think there is no CUDA support uh, at this moment. And then the second thing is you have got NLTK, INLTK library. So now that we are done, so the first step is you have to load the pre-trained model. So load pre-trained model or you can call it language setup whatever you would like to do you can call it language setup okay so the first thing you have to do is uh, load uh, setup uh, from INLTK and then uh, what is the language that you're going to set up so you can see here for the language that you are going to use you have a code HIA is for a uh, Hindi and um, TA is for Tamil whatever it is right so you can use it uh, so it throws an error um, I don't know why I'm not raising an issue for it, but you can see that it is done. So this is done. So uh, we just uh, saw head. So we'll pick one particular sentence. In this case, the sentence that is uh, slightly easier for me uh, to read. May apko se hi ek bache ke mein batana chahu. So this is a sentence that is easier to read for me. 
so it uh, translates so i would like to tell you about one child um, it so that is what we are going to look at so we'll load that sentence and then uh, we are going to first tokenize as in every uh, nlp you first start with tokenizing um, but uh, ideally in this tutorial we are not going to do anything with tokenizing at all uh, it is not required but i just wanted to show you how it tokenizes uh, so you tokenize it you can see uh, my aapko uh, aise hi so it it tokenizes like this i'm not really good with uh, hindi grammar for me to say that it is right or wrong uh, but uh, this is the case um it looks good to me um but you, you can like if you know hindi and uh, you are watching this video please point it out if it is not doing a good job so what we are here is uh, for generating text a uh, new text okay so the text that we are giving uh, has to be um, used and then some new text has to be generated so the first there are two types of text generation we are going to do one is we are going to pass on this text and then we are going to ask this package the function a get similar sentence to create new text for us similar text similar sentence so let's call it a uh, similar uh, sentence generation okay so what we are going to do is we are going to import the function get similar sentences and then we are going to pass on the text that we have which is that uh, i would like to tell about one child and then we are going to say okay what is the degree of argumentation you want to change based on that uh, you can play with it so and you can say okay how many ticks you want so let's say i want to change 0.3 and then how many ticks i want so like i said this is all the warnings that gets uh, shown um, so the three sentences have uh, been generated for our sentence which is i'll read the third one which uh, seems uh, okay i'll read the second one may aap uh, ऐसे ही एक लड़के के बारे में बताता चाहूंगे ओके सो आई थिंक इट इज इट इज रिप्लेस बच्चों टू लड़के एंड देन हियर द थर्ड सेंटेंस इज मैं आपके एक ऐसे ही एक बच्चे के बारे में देखेंगे चाहूंगे समथिंग ओके सो लेट्स एज गूगल ट्रांसलेट व्हाट इज इट रादर देन टेस्टिंग माय हिंदी स्किल्स ट्रांसलेट Mm, okay, so it says I would like to see uh, you about. I think it is probably not doing a great job. Maybe because the argumentation is too much. So let's try point one and then see what is it. Um, let's see. Yeah, it is generated. So I'll just translate it right away. So. it says i would like to tell you more about such a child okay that is good that is promising let's take the other one uh, july apko and let us see july would like to tell you about one child so okay uh, not bad not not a bad thing and i would like to tell you about uh, those one child so it does its job so the point is uh, you gave a text and then uh, you got another uh, bunch of similar sentences so you've done some kind of natural language generation here like let's say if you want to run a twitter bot um, who cares uh, what is the grammar so people actually need to some something that makes sense to them so this uh, ideally looks like uh, it makes sense to them so one of the thing that with um, gpt3 if you have seen gpt3 demos gpt3 basically or any likely works based on a prompt uh, so you have to give a prompt and uh, that prompt based on that prompt next uh, words get predicted so this is exactly what we are going to do so we are going to give a prompt which is the sentence text uh, text generation based on previous words so what this is going to do is it's going to take these words what we have uh, already given that uh, i would like to tell you about a guy uh, boy and then we are asking this um uh, package uh, using this function predict underscore next underscore words to predict uh, some other next uh, you know sentences and uh, words um so number of uh, words you want let's say we want 10 um that seems ideal so i again do not want to risk my hindi skills so i would like to tell you about one child who matches india and chemical fertilizers um now you know probably why gpt3 is really popular um, because of its accuracy but uh, as you can see we are just running this on a cpu uh, we have not uh, done any um, uh, our own text argumentation we have not any we have not done anything at all just we have taken an out of box solution and then we have tried to build something on top of it and uh, for that i think uh, 
it actually works good uh, so let's try another sentence it says i would like to tell you about one child in which the years are long okay batata chahiye jisme barse saal lambe samay okay so at least uh, to my hindi skills the sentence look uh, decent so let's generate okay if you want reproducibility you have to definitely set a seed value i'm not doing that here just because i'm using it for a tutorial purpose but uh, if you want uh, you can uh, do seeding jiske liye tris trivik trivak tri okay bad my hindi is bad uh for which trivik chakri okay so it looks like the sentence itself is bad so the basic ideas i think uh, you have got uh, so this package is a really really good package if you want to play with indian languages and uh, you can also you can also have a look at uh, where is that you can also have a look at the embedding um, uh, using a tensor board uh, you, you would have a link here um, based on that you will have understanding about uh, how the 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 language model is that uh, what kind of words look similar closer to it so you can have a look at that so at this point on um, this uh, using this package uh, just out of box solution without doing anything other than a couple of lines you can generate your own hindi text based on the text that you have given it could be either the similar sentence or it could be based on uh, the previous text as a prompt uh, you can generate a new text a um, couple of words that you would like to um, predict so this is a very handy package if you work uh, in an environment where you need to do something in indian languages or maybe you want to create a twitter or a reddit bot what kind of um, or you want to just send a whatsapp message using selenium whatever it is this is a very good package and uh, once again thanks uh, to garo for making this package and uh, of course uh, as you know we will link this uh, this is a public notebook this is going to be public notebook oh it's already a public notebook so i i'll link this uh, just below the like button if you enjoy the video please like the video and uh, please share it with your friends hindi friends and uh, if you have any comments or suggestions about my hindi skills please let me know in that video comment section thank you so much for uh, watching this video see you next time